tutorial and we will learn pcm in this tutorial we will start from the scratch and we'll learn whole pcm in just only one video when you install pcm in the student version and open for the first time you will get it interfacing like this so you can create a new file by pressing the con shortcut control plus in you can also create its new file by going to file and click new or you can also create a new file by just clicking this icon right when you create a new file you will l go to this window so now let's save this file save as you can save wherever you want i want to save it this in my download folder with the name of psm right so after that where you will find all the elements so for that just go to this element block here you will find some categories where the power categories control category other category sources symbols and couple up to other categories as well in the in these categories we also have sub categories for example in power you will find the elements of rlc branch like capacitor inductor resistor etc and in switches you can find diodes mosfet etc you can find transformers in the transformer section for example the rlc branch has the well has the elements of inductor resistor capacitor rl rc and the list goes on you can also find these elements from the bottom let me maximize this first you can also find the elements from the bottom like first we have ground then we have resistor we have inductor we have capacitor followed by diode then we have thyristor which is also called scr and then we have mosfet then we have igbt and the most and this is the getting pulse or you can say it is a pulse generator and then this, this is the voltage probe this is the voltage probe with respect to ground and if you want to find the voltage between two points you can use this knob you can also find the current by picking this current knob and this is the source is this one is the dc source the, this one is the ac source this one is the triangular wave voltage source this is the square wave and this is the step voltage source so this is the voltage sensor where you can find the voltage between some points this is the current sensor which is flowing through any circuit and this is the constant which is used in pid controller this is the summation block and this is the comparator like all these have been there also if and the most written recent used elements you will find in this window if you want to search by name then you can click this browser library browser you will come here for example i write resistor so i come out with the resistor right so this is what you will have this interface look like so we will learn this pcm by just making a simple circuit for example i want to make a very simple circuit which is what we call we call uh, you can say the half wave rectifier circuit so for that i pick an ac source which is a sine wave i also need a diode just tick and place and just take one kick and in order to remove this press escape then you also need a resistor so pick the resistor if you want to rotate this element just click the right up your uh, mouse okay click okay press escape and now to wire this i we will go to this wire for wiring click and hold up to wherever you want to draw a line similarly click and hold and drag to the desired position uh, another one click hold and drag okay so i completed my circuit but note that i also need a ground for to simulate my any like uh, circuit so i will wire this again okay the circuit is complete press escape to get your cursor now set up the values for example this is my voltage so double click on this 
you will find the its name you can name that you can rename the source and if you want to make it like i want to make the value of 50 peak to peak and a frequency is 50 okay if you want to display you can just click these blocks you will get all the your parameters so you can change the color of this for example it's a blue color and you want to change this color like dark blue just select this click ok right so there you can you rename your source now cancel this like that this is your source with the 50 voltage peak to peak value and 50 uh, value of frequency you can also change the parameters of diode this is diode you can set the threshold value you can do diode resistance but i am taking this in ideal case and if you want to display the, its number you can click on this bar and you can also change its color for example it's a blue and you want to make it like it's closest to dark like completely dark you can click ok this is what you get the your diode and for load resistance i for example want to make its value of like 100 okay and i want to make its name at load 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 display both the name and value you can also change its color if you want to change right so you this is what you will get your circuit so what you want to do i want to measure my voltage across the load so what i will need i will just click my voltage probe click here right and rename this i name this v r right you can also change its color if you want to change now i want to make the current across this whole circuit so pick the current probe and place wherever you want because it is a series circuit the current will be same press escape double click and for example i may uh, give a name of i dc for example and you can also change its color and name like whatever you want right i want to show its name should so that it can easily be visualized right okay whatever what else i want to measure i want to measure the voltage that is being produced by the voltage source so pick a node or voltage probe it will measure its source voltage with respect to ground and give a name of v f v source right and does display its name and if you want to change its color you can change like whatever you want so one thing more if you want to measure the voltage across the diode you can place this double like voltage probe it will measure the voltage across that particular element or branch you can want to measure so wire this okay if you want to name it you can name it to vd right and just display its name if you want to change its color you can change also you can measure its uh, its like its voltage by just picking the current sensor like for example this one i just i want to measure its current for example here that will be exactly equal to the vr but i just want you guys to know about the measuring voltage by any element so now again by just placing a probe and give it a name of for example sensor for example sensor voltage right and display its name okay the circuit is complete this is what you can measure your voltages your currents the voltage between two points the voltage with respect to ground all these you can cover very easily from by picking these knobs and voltage sensor like whatever you want now the circuit is complete what you can do you can just go to simulate and just control simulate your control okay if you click this 
you will get this new window so what parameter does this have this have the time step this is the step time so for example i want to make it step time 0.1 time 0.1 into e power minus e power 0.05 like whatever you value you want to step between the simulation and the total time for example i want to simulate my result for 0.02 print time doesn't need this print step you you can just uh, make these values by default now go to color you can change the color of your uh, simulate panel control like for example i want to make it complete green okay that's my favorite color okay anyway the circuit is complete we simulate our we just uh, make our circuit we we pick the voltage probe at desired voltage where we want to measure and the current if you want to measure and now let's run this to run this program you can click this run simulation you can go to simulation and run simulation or you can press the shortcut f8 so let's run this okay if you run a new window will appear which will look like this so here it will it will show you what you want to print for example if you want to print the dc current the voltage sensor current the voltage across diode the voltage across resistor or the voltage of source whatever you want to print you can print and for example i want to print the vd the voltage for example i want to print the voltage across load so i will select this you can you can ch change its properties for example its load variable is vr you can like change it and you can change the color of your this voltage across resistor for example i want to make it th this this color thickness you can also increase or decrease thickness and you can also mark your symbol like what mark what should be marked on your trace so make it as it is and for screen properties you can change the background colors you can change the foreground colors and whatever you want to change you can easily so i will make this default click ok ok this is what i am getting my voltage across uh, load so if you want to absorb its properties you can go to this measure and measure right okay if you tick uh, if you if you tick any part on your graph you will get the instantaneous values like for example at this point the vr is value well, have this and this point the vr value is like this whatever you, you you can measure if you want to measure the voltage between two points just click this and and right click on some other point it will measure the difference between two voltages right okay this was the like the instantaneous values you can measure now if you want to add more path like the graph of I id the, the the graph of the source voltage you can easily draw by going to this add or delete voltage cursor or you can right click on anywhere and add or delete curves right okay what you want to add i want to add dc current right add and click ok you can also change its curves or its properties like i want to make its color like completely red and its width or its thickness should be like 2 ok ok this is what i am getting my current so if you want to show the current and voltage values at different window you can easily by just clicking add one screen so here for example i want to measure my voltage this is what i am getting my current idc right you can also scale your axis x axis and y axis according to your requirements and if i want to delete my one curve for example idc i want to remove you can remove it from here click ok right this is how you will run your simulation now if you want to add more windows or more graphs you can go to 
add one screen more and for example draw the voltage source and changes like color you can change this for example this is this is the color that i want to print out my source and i want to increase its thickness for example to 3 so this is i this is what i am getting at my my source curve now if you want to know more about your more about your graphs so for example you want to if you want to find the maximum values the minimum extreme minimum extreme minimum you can find for example i want to measure this show only vertical measurement you can you can if you want to measure the global minimum value you can find the, look this is your global minimum value now if you want to find your global maximum value click on this one you will find this if you want to find the next minimum next mini maximum you can easily find you can find the rms value you can find the average value you can find the anyone like whatever you want to calculate you can find and your major value will display it over here right okay if you want to calculate the power factor the power factor is calculated at the current bit the phase difference between current and uh, voltage so you will get here for this only two curves i should be should be there which would be the current and the voltage so it would calculate my power factor i can also calculate my active power my apparent power okay so what next you can also play with your graphs like for example if you want to change your axis the x axis you can take for example the logarithmic or linear start time and end time you can easily uh, like uh, uh, customize this so for example i want to my x axis in logarithmic scale so click log this is what i will get in my logarithmic scale similarly you can change your y axis this is logarithmic oh sorry you can do this okay go to linear again okay this is how you will get your graphs and you can play with your axes for example go to again linear okay if you, if you want to the measure its fft fourier transform you can just click on this you will get this so now i what i want to do i want to zoom this part just zoom this some oh. zoom out again okay this is my what my fft okay so this was a very com comprehensive tutorial which cover all the basics of the pc